Peppa Pig most cursed videos on the internet. Let's begin. Peppa's family loves spending time together. This time they were playing hide and seek. No one could have guessed how badly it would end. I wonder how bad this with is going to end. Being the best player, he decided to hide under the table. Peppa immediately found him and scolded him for hiding poorly. Come on, saying bro. That next time, he needed to find a better place. He's a noob. Next time he was hiding, he decided to find the most unexpected place. He thought he would definitely win. His parents encouraged him. That's going to be some crazy spot. He ran into his parents' room and saw a quite tall vase. He figured that if he could fit in there, Peppa wouldn't be able to find him. He brought a chair, stood on it, and <laughs> I don't began think that's to climb a good into idea. the vase head first. However, he couldn't. He got stuck upside down, unable to get out. He started to worry and was about to call for help, but he thought if he could just squeeze a bit further, he could flip over into the wider bottom of the vase. Why did he, he just tip it as over? Much as he could, break. Exhaling the remaining air from his lungs. He pushed a bit further, but not all the way. The situation only got worse. He realized he couldn't get out and tried to scream, but couldn't. There was no air left in his lungs. It's about and to be he couldn't mummified. even breathe properly because his body was compressed. His heart pounded from anxiety, worsening the situation because the vase had limited oxygen, which was quickly depleting over time. Dang, bro. He waited and waited for Peppa to find him. Every second felt like an eternity. Finally, Peppa entered the room and saw the top part of George sticking out of the vase. Peppa was happy that she had found him and laughed at him for choosing a conspicuous hiding spot again. However, George didn't react at all. Oh, he didn't no. move his legs or make any sounds. Peppa realized Bro. something was wrong. She stood on a chair and tried to reach him with her hands, but the vase slipped and fell to the ground, shattering. Peppa watched as her motionless brother lay among the vast shards. The shards embedded in his hands, legs, stomach, and face. Damn. A red puddle quickly formed on the floor. Peppa immediately screamed, calling for their parents' help. They were shocked and rushed George to the hospital. He received numerous stitches, lay in a coma for several days, the but coma? he survived. What? Scars remained on his body, reminding him of that day. He no longer enjoyed playing hide-and-seek. All right, that was definitely it. That took a turn and it got dark very quick. And so with my hair, dude, what the? Oh, All right, no. our next video is never trust muddy puddles. This terrible day started with an unremarkable rain. Oh, no. Pepper and George were waiting for the Pepper. rain to end so they could go outside to play. They did not yet know how this day would turn out. They waited for the sun to come out and asked their parents if they could go for a walk. They just play in the rain. When they left the house, they found puddles left by the rain and started to jump in them, as they had done many times before. However, that day they decided to try to find the biggest puddle. They walked further and further away from home. It's gonna be like a mud they went horse. So or something. far that their parents could no longer see them. George saw a big puddle and wanted to jump in it, but Pepper stopped him. She wanted to make sure the puddle was safe enough for him but she didn't think about her own safety. That was the worst mistake of the day. Her oh. whole body sank into the puddle. I knew it. A nose was barely visible on the surface of the puddle from the recently cheerful pig. George couldn't contain his horror and started Do to cry. Something, bro. He realized that help was needed as soon as possible. You need a help he instead of crying, bro. He home and ran in the random direction. After some time, he did not notice a puddle under his feet and fell into it himself. Oh no. He was pulled up to his waist in mud. He couldn't get out no matter how hard he tried, but the upper half of his body was free. All he could do was scream and call for help from the puddle. Because George had run too far away from his parents, they couldn't hear him. An hour after Peppa Pig and her Damn. brother went for a walk, Mummy Pig started to worry. An hour she talked later, about it bro? with Daddy Pig, and they went out to look for their children. After 20 minutes yeah, of searching, those kids they long gone their children missing under the earth. After that, the part every of earth resident now. started looking for Pepper and George. The search lasted for several hours, and even helicopters were involved. George was the first to be spotted by Daddy Pig, who heard faint cries for help, approached, and saw him. George was in a state of hypothermia. He had caught a cold from the damp and was exhausted. Daddy Pig pulled him out and tried to find out where Peppa was. Oh no, George what himself to has slurred speech due to his age, but because he had been in the mud for several hours, all that could be understood from his speech Boy was, was on that, that something mud. terrible had happened to Peppa. Then George slowly started walking in one direction. 
He stopped at the same puddle Bro, where Pe Pepper got stuck. Pepper's gonna be dead for there sure. There was nothing on the surface of the puddle, as there were no footprints nearby. Oh, Since then, dude, the completely no ate her alive. Muddy puddles anymore. Well, R.I.P. Pepper, you will be remembered. Ooh. Now moving on to Daddy Pig fell off the balloon. Peppa Pig's family loves to visit the amusement park during balloon, holiday. Bro. Also hot air balloon. Holidays, having a wonderful time. But this time, something went wrong and turned out very, very badly. This is the balloon ride incident. As soon as they arrived, they saw Mrs. Rabbit doing a raffle. Pepper bought a ticket and won the balloon ride with her family. Pepper dreamed of trying a hot air balloon ride, and now her dream was coming true. As they began their flight, Mrs. Rabbit said it was her first time flying a balloon. Oh, heck no, nah, that's, Pig that's a big red this. flag right there, her he first thought time. He stopping the flight and going back, but he didn't want to spoil Pepper's fun. Heck no, brother. Once heck. they were high enough, it turned out that Mrs. Else. Rabbit didn't even know how to use the map, which further showed her incompetence. See what I'm talking about? Looking around, Bro, Peppa what? dropped her favorite toy, oh, I thought and it was they a... decided to go down to find it. Daddy Pig lifted baby Teddy from the tree, but at that moment no one was looking where the balloon was going. The balloon oh, got stuck no. in a tree. There was no one in sight. They were alone in the middle of the forest. It doesn't look like it's After that high up. studying the map, Daddy Pig realized that they were very far from everyone. They called for help with a loudspeaker for several hours, but no one answered. At this point, Daddy Pig start decided each other that due now. to the distance from the others, they could wait for help for days. So he better carefully climb down the Smallest tree and first. go for help. However, when he climbed down the tree, his foot slipped, oh. and in an attempt to grab the tree, he badly scratched his hands. Oh, his and hands are fell. bleeding. They peeled as as like he his skin peels off. He felt pain. His leg was broken. His family was shocked. But he said that the bruises were minor and that he would be able to get to the help he needed so badly. Gotta do it for the family. At that moment, this idea seemed good to him. Because of the adrenaline rush, his pain was dulled. His family dissuaded him, but he walked in the direction of the nearest settlement. At first he walked with a limp. That's a real then father right crawl, there. Look at him go. Then stopped. Peppa Pig watched as his body lay motionless, not responding to being called. No, he died. Mrs. Rabbit realized that it was all her fault. She it is her fault. Climb down the the right now. Daddy Pig first aid. She had rock climbing skills, but she did not take into account that there were traces of Daddy Pig's blood on the tree. Oh, from she which she slipped. slipped and fell right on her neck. Her body lay motionless. It seems like everything she does is, and George just cried. goes bad. It was too dangerous to climb down themselves, and all that remained was to hope that help would come. Help arrived about an hour after the incident. The locals saw where the balloon was going, and after it did not return for a long time. They became worried and went in that direction. That day, Dang. they lost two valuable persons. That is so sad. I mean, they lost their father, but then losing the other girl, Rosa or whatever, she deserved it, bro, because she had no clue what she was doing out there. For our final video, we got George's last. The day began like any other, with George taking Pepper for a walk near their home, where no one else was supposed to be. Oh no. However, That's... George felt strange, as They're if someone else right was there. watching him. He didn't see anyone around, but the feeling wouldn't leave him alone. Meanwhile, his sister Pepper behaved as usual, clearly not sensing the same thing as George. George wanted to go home as soon as possible, and when they returned, their parents had already prepared dinner, and everyone began hey, to eat as usual. Spaghetti. Everyone except George. He was so frightened that he had lost his appetite. That dude was scared Mummy for his Pig life. noticed this and asked him what was wrong. He said nothing. Night fell and Peppa and George Can't were put to sleep. bed. sleep. Look at him. George couldn't fall asleep for a long time. It's overcome terrifying. by an inexplicable terror that only grew with time. But at one point, he looked out the window. There was it. The dark silhouette the? of a creature was clearly visible. What is that thing? straight at George. George was stunned. He thought oh, he was imagining no, it all. crazy, bro. And after he blinked... The creature disappeared. The bedroom was on the second floor of the house. No one could have looked in the window. Fear gripped him, <laughs> paralyzing his body and mind. George hid under the yeah, bed. Yeah, I would have been as scared out. as heck as well. He did fall asleep for a few hours that night. When he woke up, he ran to his family and burst into tears. He tried to say something about a dark figure standing outside his window, but they couldn't understand him, as his speech was rather indistinct due they to his age. They don't think he's crazy, bro. His parents realized he was afraid of something in the dark, but they thought it was just a childish fantasy. 
George stayed home all day, not wanting to go anywhere. After his bath, Mommy Pig put the children to bed. But that night George curtained the windows. George couldn't fall asleep. He convinced himself that he had imagined it oh, all. Oh, it's gonna be in the room, watch. He tried to sleep for two hours. Suddenly he heard a creak in the room. It was here. Oh! Pepper was asleep. I and knew when it. she woke up, she found George missing. There was nothing to indicate what had happened to him. His parents reported that to the police. Dang, he just it vanished turned out like that, that it wasn't the first time something like this had happened. They kidnapped my boy A state George. Of emergency eh? was declared in the city. Dude, that is insane. All right, well, that is it for these uh, Peppa Pig videos. Shout out to a Durden VO, which is a creator. Um, I'll link his channel and the videos down below in the description. If you guys want to check him out, and thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>